Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're talking about the news of the day. Dallas Cowboys have fired offensive line coach Paul Alexander. This is serious. Cabmo time, all right? So this is something that I actually just talked about. This is something that's been on my mind for a while. Talked about it in the previous video. You know, the talent just the, the talent just doesn't fall off with the offensive line. Tyron Smith, Lyle Collins, um, and that sort of thing. Uh, the Cowboys made a move here, all right? By, by now, you, you've already heard the news, but just want to talk about what the impact of this is going to be for the Cowboys' offensive line. Honestly, when I heard this news, I have to say I was more excited about this news than the acquisition of Amari Cooper. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you because the impact of this could be something that will uh, that will get us back to 2016 offensive line and earlier. Okay, we're talking about Mark Colombo. He's been elevated to the offensive line coach. He's ready. All right, Mark Colombo. He has a long history here with the Cowboys, and not only that, his playing time, but he's he's gotten some of the best coaching from some of the best offensive line coaches in the game. You know. Uh, when the Cowboys picked him up in 2005, he got uh, coached up, you know, under Parcells and the, and the late Tony Sperano. All right, Tony Sperano is one of those offensive line gurus. He's right there with the Bill Callahan um, and those kinds of guys. I mean, his, his level of offensive line coaching is one of the best, all right? So he got a couple years in the Sperano, and then when Wade Phillips took over here with the Cowboys, Hudson Hawk. Another, uh, you know, three seasons of that, you know, so three seasons of Sperano, three seasons of Hudson Hawk, who the Cowboys are also bringing in, as, in to the fold as an advisor, All right? So who's Hudson Hawk? Hudson Hawk uh, is another one of these great offensive line minds, the techniques, the style. He's coached, you know, Hall of Fame players, you know, a lot of them, you know, going back to USC, Anthony Munoz, and then in the NFL, all these guys, Larry Allen, Hudson Hawk, with Tony Sperano, and then Mark Colombo. Mark Colombo's coming from a very good coaching tree. I guess you could call it that, all right? So how is it going to help the offensive line? It's going to get us back to where we were, you know? Paul Alexander came in here with a different kind of style, different techniques. Lyle Collins, <clears throat> excuse me has really been um, one of the ones that has really taken a step back as far as, you know, where he's been and where he's at. So, <laughs> like I said, this is very exciting for me because I feel that Mark Colombo, he comes from a no-nonsense coaching tree. Uh, he's just, he's worked with a lot of the best, you know, teammates, Leonard Davis, Flozo Adams, Larry Allen, um, you know he's he's worked with a lot a lot of uh, great offensive linemen and he, and he's able to coach that style and I feel that we're gonna get back to mauling people again. All right, I really do. That's why I'm excited about this because this line looked a little it was it was going in the wrong direction. All right, it was going this way. All right, mediocre, not even good, man. You you could say the offensive line hasn't looked good. You know. Still with Tyron Smith, I still think he's a little stiff there with the back. But um, I think if you make a few changes here and there, which the Cowboys obviously thought they had to do, this could pay big dividends. All right, so this offensive line news coupled with the Amari Cooper, uh, I'm re-energized. All right, I hope you guys are re-energized as fans as well because this is huge. To me, moving forward, this offensive line we're going to get after people here. Mark Colombo comes from a gritty background himself. He's old school. He's a throwback. He's going to want to punch people in the face. He's going to let Lyle Collins maul the crap out of people. You know, the techniques that you've been seeing, I guess, under Alexander. Uh, Lyle, I mean, Lyle Collins has been more on the, um, you know, on the offensive side as far as letting the letting the uh, defensive tackle or I mean defensive ends come to him and then try to make a decision you know with this change here he's gonna he's gonna let he's gonna let him do do what he does best and that's maul the crap out of people here all right he's gonna be pushing people up field again and um, 
we're gonna see that you know this is gonna help Connor Williams as well all right this is gonna help Connor Williams Hudson Hawk there um, as he, in the advisory role very good very very good all right who's gonna benefit from this Dak Prescott Ezekiel Elliott is gonna is gonna uh, is probably gonna pop off some 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 big runs with this all right I'm, I'm excited about this like anything else uh, right now it's this is theory you know it is a good move on paper the Amari Cooper move is good on paper now it's just a matter of bringing everything together and smashing people all right smashing the crap out of people Hulk style all right that's what I want to see let me know what you guys think about this change here on the offensive line continue to like subscribe and share hit that bell and if you like this video give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel help helps me out a lot so um, let's get those likes up and we'll see you for the next video. Thanks guys.